This set of experiments will try to mimic different defects in our dual insulators. So, uh, for example, here, this is a crack on the surface of the uh, ceramic insulators. Now, this surface crack can be simulated using the following configuration here. which is basically we have a smooth electrode touching an uh, insulating material to have a dry surface discharge similar to what we might have if we have a crack on the surface of the insulator. Now, how the pattern of these discharge look like? So you, you can see here in the classical BD detector, we have discharge at both the positive and at the negative. The downside of discharges uh, on the classical BD usage is that this is intrusive and can be only used in the lab. However, we are using an ultrasonic sensor to detect these types of discharges as we will show you know, now the output of these uh, discharges. So this is how the discharge in the ultrasonic. Now this top uh, waveforms, basically they are the frequency time uh, domain signal and down you can see here the db how much db we are detecting from these discharges you will try to mimic when we have uh, pollution on the surface of the insulator so this is like a wet insulator and how we do that it's exactly the same like the previous setup we have a smooth surface but here we have as well a wet surface so let's look now how the discharge look like on the BT detector. In the BT detector, it is sort of random because uh, here we have water on the surface. So sometimes it comes, sometimes it goes. As you can see here, the, the PD is not very consistent and this is expected because of the wet surface. Same thing, the pattern in the ultrasonic sig signal is not very consistent. Uh, you can see here sometimes it goes up sometimes disappears sometimes comes in which is typical of a wet discharge on the surface of the insulator to mimic the uh, discharges that comes from the hardware we try to uh, simulate the corona so to do that we have a sharp point to plane electrode and here we can uh, generate this type of uh, discharges now this is not to do with the insulators but when you do detection in the field sometimes you might detect corona so it is very important to know that you are detecting corona and not uh, discharge on the surface of the insulators as you can see here the patterns are completely different when it comes to the uh, corona compared to the previous discharges the wet or the dry surface uh, discharge and this is the discharge from the ultrasonic uh, sensor uh, it is more of consistent type of uh, discharges uh, but you need to do more signal processing to see more patterns in these discharges